Get your standard, humble farming implements. Something utterly magnificent and suspiciously self-aware has rolled onto the Italian hillsides. Behold, the Alpago Ice Max Revolution. Why the dramatic name? Analytically speaking, this is a pioneering piece of agricultural engineering, the world's first and only seed container of its class to boast its own distinct chassis. A seed container with its own mobility system? It sounds less like a field tool and more like an independent earth-shaping cyborg. This isn't a hopper, it's a mobile monument. Sporting a double-structured container offering a colossal 4,500 liters of capacity, the Ice Max clearly wasn't designed for modest weekend gardening. The operational genius lies in its highly sophisticated electronic brain, an ISBS management system working in lockstep with the AFA system. Forget conventional farming. We are witnessing an agricultural heist of surgical precision. This is the curious case of the dynamic class duo, the Zerion and the Disco Orbis, executing a bizarrely effective two-stage extraction that separates the plant's valuable assets from its humble infrastructure, its high-stakes plant management. The initial marvel is the Klaus Zerion, a behemoth masquerading as a mobile processing factory. Too important for general duties, the Zerion operates with focused intent. It deploys an integrated cutting unit, threshing system, and sieving wizardry exclusively to snip the elite upper stratum of the plant, the flower heads and seed-bearing grains. It's a dedicated treasure hunter, leaving the stock standing awkwardly, having been relieved of its genetic payload. But what happens to the forsaken lower decks? Enter the enigmatic Kloss Disco Orbis. The clock is ticking, and frankly, Mother Nature is terrible at scheduling. To win the desperate seasonal sprint against looming weather disasters, industrial agriculture deploys a magnificent high-tech duo, the fearsome Ropa Harvester and its loyal getaway vehicle, the potent Volvo Transport Tractor. But what mechanical alchemy makes this partnership successful? The Ropa is not merely a machine. It's a terrifyingly efficient, self-propelled processing plant a mobile factory dedicated to sugar beet conquest. Observe the analytical precision. Aggressive digging shares lift entire rows, while sophisticated vibrating drums perform the essential, yet often overlooked, task of ethically separating the precious tubers from their surrounding soil. For the urbanite whose heaviest lifting involves a Waitrose shopping bag, the Artex SB series is gloriously, unapologetically superfluous. You can stay indoors. The adults are talking about genuine agricultural physics defiance. We are addressing field conditions where stable manure is so dense, so heavy, and so stubbornly fibrous that lesser machines simply clock out early and refuse the assignment. This is the precise crucible in which true resilience is not a marketing term, but an absolute operational necessity. The Artex SB series doesn't just meet this standard, it establishes a new definition of durability. Curiosity often asks, how do they achieve this monstrous longevity? The analytical answer is simple. They built it like an agricultural main battle tank. When severe storms have ripped entire rows of trees down, or perhaps more mundanely, after comprehensive clearing operations, we are frequently left with the ultimate arboreal insult, the massive, immovable tree stump. A defiant monument of wood, 
these colossal relics stand as infuriating obstacles, thoroughly vetoing any sensible plans for new construction or necessary replanting. This is where engineering ceases to be polite and enters the realm of glorious overkill. The solution, which sounds less like a piece of heavy equipment and more like a pivotal character from an action film, is the Spearhead Rollet Card 500. Analytically speaking, this is not a chipper. It is a dedicated existential threat to root systems globally. Forget the back-breaking romance of traditional harvesting. The French have engineered a delightful, yet intensely persuasive, form of botanical interrogation. We are witnessing a clear, emphatic stride towards mechanization mastery with these hydraulic tree shakers. But what dark secrets and immense physics lurk beneath that padded exterior? These mechanical marvels essentially demand instantaneous surrender from your fruit yield. Powered by a standard farm tractor, the system employs a sophisticated, yet strangely aggressive, technique. It clamps down on the trunk using a soft, protective gripping unit. Think velvet handcuffs for woody plants before unleashing controlled chaos. Analytically speaking, the science is brutal. Prepare to witness the sheer audacity of agricultural engineering. We are drilling down into the current season's performance metrics of the formidable Case IH-6130, partnered with its truly staggering 35-foot Draper header. This is not merely harvesting, this is precision extraction on a grand, slightly ridiculous scale. Analytically speaking, the core genius lies in the advanced single-rotor threshing system. Unlike crude mechanical brutes, this system performs a delicate, almost ritualistic guidance of thousands of sunflower heads, the black gold of the field, into the cleaning apparatus. How does it manage to gently coax maximum yield while maintaining seed integrity? That is the fascinating mystery. Forget expensive solar panels and baffling nuclear physics. We pose a simpler, more pressing question. What if the humdrum irrigation hose, currently just watering your prize-winning marrows, secretly held the key to infinite, bill-slaying energy? Prepare to have your perception of fluid dynamics hilariously shattered. This brilliantly simple solution harnesses the very water pressure you already rely on, it's not magic, it's aggressively efficient engineering. The mechanism employs ultralight aluminum paddle wheels, think miniature hydrodynamic wind wheels, coupled with an accelerating belt transmission. This ingenious system meticulously translates low pressure kinetic energy from the flow into impressively high generator output. The payoff. Tackling the perilous choreography required for maintaining dizzyingly steep slopes and hazardous embankment structures is not just challenging, it's an open invitation to disaster. Who, genuinely, volunteers for that kind of precarious, high-stakes gardening? The conventional response to these engineering nightmares is fundamentally flawed, unstable, terrifying, and utterly inefficient. This is precisely where the Spearhead Twiga SPV tracks strides in, demonstrating why pure, unadulterated engineering always wins. This isn't merely a self-propelled mower, it is a dedicated, track-driven slope assassin designed to execute the impossible. The burning analytical question is, of course, how does it defy gravity without involving emergency services? The secret lies in stability as a science. Forget everything you thought you knew about meticulous soil preparation. 
Achieving those impeccably lush, standard-compliant seedbeds requires engineering genius bordering on agricultural alchemy. In sun-drenched Italian fields, where the stakes are particularly high, farmers have successfully deployed a rather mysterious secret weapon, the Ariete Torre Drigo. What monstrous implement is this? Often paired with the dependable muscle of Fiat or New Holland, the Ariete transforms the humble tractor into something far more menacing, a giant mechanically maniacal steel comb. Analysis reveals its devastating efficiency, a PTO-driven rotating shaft bristling with L-shaped tines gets down to serious business.